So GM prices at $33 a share. Private General Motors has had the flexibility to make business deals that brought the company back from profitability, though. But now that it's going public, will having to answer to shareholders be bad or good for GM and its customers? Joining us now, the car coach and author of Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car, Lauren Fix, along with Gary B. Smith. Hi, Lauren. Good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Hello. Okay, Thank so, you for having me. So there you are. What do you think? Is this really the best way? It was in the private world, of course, albeit saved by, by government money, that suddenly General Motors right. was able to jettison a CEO who for 12 years did nothing but drive this company lower and lower into the morass. And, and they made a lot of changes, and they got things on a fast track to really improve. Right. I think there's been a lot of great changes with GM. I mean, they've really been able to utilize every single aspect, partly because the government was involved. But I'm not really a fan of the government getting involved in the private sector because they don't, they don't produce product. They produce a service. And the people that I know that work at General Motors have said we need to get the government out. And that's partly why they're rushing to market to get this IPO out. I know Ralph Nader is trying to stop it, but it's happening. And it's going to happen at $33 a share. And like your previous guests had said, I know that price is going to go up huge tomorrow, but watch it dip down by next week. I, I'm thinking it's going to be below $30. Ooh. But I think the secret to GM's success, that's my opinion, I, as a car expert, um, but I think that what's going to happen is the reason that GM's success has been so great in the last three quarters having a profit is the fact they're using new technologies. They're using plastics. They're going with hybrids. They're really trying to be in the forefront and be cutting edge because they weren't that before because the previous CEO didn't do it. Well, Gary B., the, the business people might want the government to get out, but what happens if the government doesn't want to get out? I mean, the government, as I mentioned before, has some interest in, of its own in owning a car company or having sort of uh, uh, a strong arm over what that, that car company does. Is there a chance the government might say, we want to stay in for a while? <laughs> I tell you what, David, I hope not. My gosh, you know, I, I've been looking at and thinking about, you know, what what is GM uh, akin to kind of government run businesses, if you will. And, and the only analogies I can come up with are kind of like Amtrak and the Postal Service. Oh, and as we've seen across the board, the government does, as our as our guest points out, does a pretty lousy job of running business because, you know, for the for the simple reason there they answer to constituencies, not the, the bottom right. line. I think having GM public now at least gives the the the, the American people at least more of a voice okay. now. Lauren, you get the last uh, and, word. And Sorry, we're running out on time, but just about 20 seconds. Uh, you may say that it might fall below the IPO price next week, but so did Tesla. And now it's well above its IPO price. Right. Well, I think it's typically what happens is there's going to be a lot of excitement. Everyone's going to want to get in on this IPO. You've got all kinds of people from overseas, all these big groups that want to buy in, all these sovereign groups, and that's fine. They're going to all buy in, but everyone's looking to make a quick buck, just like most of us are. So some people may do a short sell. Other people will want to stay in it. The consumer wants to get in, but it's a preferred stock, and it could go to common at any point. So they're looking to get the government out, bring their ownership Lauren, down to 40 percent, and I think we, we got to leave it at that. that. Lauren, forgive me for interrupting. Lauren right. Fix, good to see you. Okay. Gary B., good to see you as well. And don't forget, you can find out a lot more about this by going to bullsandbears.com online.